So you have some more show and tell, yes? Yeah, that's of course. Yeah. There's something. So how, how should I introduce it? So I am currently doing residency as an artist in residence at 42 Heilbronn. Like it's a coding school, a fun, fun place to be. And I had a chat with the one, one, one of the like or basically like the, the boss of the institute and he was like oh man you're i love your generative stuff someday you should do some stamps and i was like oh yeah generative stamps sounds like a good idea and then in december i got me my own laser cutter finally and so i got inspired to do some generative stamps and this is what i let's see if i can hold that in the camera because i don't have so cool images of that ooh, ooh, ooh. let's see if that works <laughs> so i do uh, oh, yeah. stamp sets of three pieces and they fit together oh. sort of like dominoes is maybe the wrong word but they, like they interface each other and mm -hmm. there's always a stamp which only has one side that interfaces one that has two sides and one that has three sides oh interesting. and now you can yeah. like put them together in different arrangements and form new new, new images let me see if i have one of the cool one of the stamp pictures here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe I, have... oh, yes. exactly. I love it. It's kind of like a yes. cross between like a Celtic <laughs> knot and a maze. Yes, of. exactly. Like it's like Celtic knot or maybe also a bit of like Art Nouveau swirly yeah. stuff. And the sort of the tiling, how to say it, the tiling process is called structured tiles. And they, like the, the person who came up with structured tiles, did it with squares to interface each other okay. and makes cool makes cool patterns. But I thought like if I wanted if I want to make stamp sets where you have all the variations like one side, two side, or all sides, or and you have a square, you get actually a lot of different variations because if you have a square, you can have the opposing sides connecting mm -hmm. or like the the, the matching like side, like the yes, the, exactly these sides connecting, and then you have even more variations and so oh man these sets get so huge with squares let's let's do triangles first <laughs> yeah like you can like with this set i made for example yeah. like this pattern or this pattern oh cool very cool and that's that's nice. really fun and like all these and of course like the stamp sets themselves are unique because they are generative mm -hmm. and you can also make unique patterns with your unique stamps so it's double unique double generative. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love uh, it. They are, yeah, they are they are fun. So far, I don't sell them currently, but I was planning to put them somewhere on, I'm not sure, something like Etsy or maybe finally find the time to set up my own shop on my own website. But I sent them out to my patrons and I have on my patron website, I have a tier um, where you can pay $10 or more. Mm -hmm. And then you will get nice generative goodies twice a year. <laughs> Very, this cool. Time was Very stamps. cool. That's awesome. Yes. And we should have a link to your Patreon in the description in YouTube. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe, join Patreon, follow you at all of the things, bleep track on Instagram and Twitter and everything. Cool. So what are the different what are the different variables that are being manipulated for the stamps? I mean, there has to be something for like how many exits per edge there are, mm -hmm. they're small exactly. or big. Let's let's maybe put that yeah. back on the camera and get my camera to focus. Here yeah. we go. Yeah, you're exactly right. Like I have these points where they interface mm -hmm. and I choose a random number between currently I think it's two and four points and I only and I choose a random place on half of one of the edges and then I mirror them over to the other half so ah. so I make sure that they okay. all of them can connect and then there's also there's a lot of randomness in how those worlds go yeah and of course I need to make sure that like the lines that connect have the same thickness because the thickness also changes in the pattern mm -hmm. and yeah these are the main things that are constraints and the rest is more or less a big bunch of randomness. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool though. I mean, I think that's the whole, like that's one of the mo most interesting things I think about generative art is that that mix of certain things that are fixed, but yet randomness controlling it all. 
Absolutely, yeah. And I think, like, I like to imagine this, to, like, on a scale, like, there are two extremes. You can, like, underdefine it, where everything is random and then everything is boring and it's, like, a weird mm -hmm. mess. And you can also overdefine it in an extreme case that you only have one solution, which also, like, defeats the purpose of generative art because you want yeah. to have a nice variety and find that sweet spot in the middle. I think that's the, that's the really fun and interesting thing when coding. Thank you.